more story time! We love Andy's adventure so much that I decided to write my own Andy the Android story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, Andy the Android was flying through space. Andy flies to the top of a giant tower made of mattresses, <laughs> where the princess is trapped. But, oh! Just as Andy was about to save the fairy planet princess from the wicked robo pigs, he. he. what? Um, well, that's the problem. I don't know what. Each time I think of an ending, it doesn't feel like the ending of a real Andy the Android story. Hmm, maybe there's a place we can go that could help. A place to inspire the perfect ending to your story. Yes, what a great idea. That sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Sounds like a troubled tale. Let's see where you can go. The exercise planet? That's a great place for making muscles, but not for making up stories. Hmm. Ball Planet is a great place for bouncing balls, but not for bouncing around story ideas. <gasps> hey! The Storybook Planet! That Yay! sounds perfect! Yes, the storybook planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Like this brick house is big, bad, wolf proof. 
<laughs> wow! I love how the three pigs stood up to that big bad wolf. You should try something like that, Rob. Uh, it is a great ending, but I don't think it's right for my story. Let's keep looking. Come on! <laughs> I know this story. It's the princess and the pea, one of my favorites. Me too. In this story, they kept looking and looking until they found the one true princess. <laughs> one princess, at your service. <laughs> hey, this bed has a bump in it. <gasps> I think I feel the pea. One big pea. <gasps> hey, if Emma can feel that little pea under all those mattresses, then we've found our one true princess. How's that for a fun ending, Rob? It's good, but I'm not sure how it fits into my story. I have a princess, but I don't have pea. <laughs> <laughs> So this story must be... Jack, Jack and the Beanstalk! Wow! This story has a brave hero just like my story. He rescues the goose that lays the golden eggs. Yeah, but this story also has a big, meanie giant. Uh... Fee, yeah. I, Bo, uh... Stay away from my goose or you'll hear from me. But how else will I see how this story ends? Don't worry, Orbit. I'll be careful. Yeah! Unhand that golden goose, Mr. Giant. It is I, Rob the Robot. Oh, oh no! The giant is chasing Rob! I've got it! You guys, I've got the golden goose! Be huh? my bow boo Put down that goose or I'll get you! Okay? Oh, I hope so. I know so. I'm okay. Ta -da! Ta -da! Ow! You did it, Rob! He saved the goose that laid the golden egg! <laughs> awesome! Super terrific! That was the most exciting ending ever! But there aren't any giants in my Andy the Android story. <sighs> I don't think there's one story on this whole planet with the right ending. Not for my story, anyway. You're right, Rob. There isn't one story. There are three. Each of the stories we were in had bits and pieces that were also in your story. Remember? <gasps> Emma's right. There was a princess, a hero, and pigs. But how does that help my story? You can do it, Rob. You'll think of a great ending. Don't give up. That's it! Don't give up! That's the one thing in all three stories that's the same. Jack never gave up. In The Princess and the Pea, they never gave up looking for the princess. Even the three little pigs never gave up. And do you know what else? What? Andy the android never, ever gives up. I think I know how to end my story! Yay! Awesome! Yeah. Tell us, Rob! <laughs> it could go something like this. Andy flies to the top of a giant tower made of mattresses, where the princess is trapped. As the mean robo-pigs get closer, Andy and the princess leap up the tower, falling and falling until the flying book swoops in to catch them, just in time. The end. <laughs> it's perfect! Thank you! And do you know what else? It's also another perfect mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Today we went to the Story 
Storybook Planet, hoping to find just the right ending for my Andy the Android adventure story. It had lots of books filled with great stories, but none of them felt exactly like the story that I wanted to tell. I almost gave up, but thanks to my friends, I kept trying. And that's when I came up with the perfect ending for my story. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Bye.